What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be looking at three Valentine's Day themed packs. Um, I spent way too long scouring the internet for these, and I came up with three that I liked. So, coming in third place is the one that I'm using right now. It's called Cupid 16X. So, I'm going to play a Bedwars game with each, and kind of show you the pack. So the first thing I really like about this pack is it has a really nice pink sky. The second thing that I really like about this pack is it has a really good crosshair. As you can see, it's pretty similar to my normal crosshair overlay, but it's kind of a diagonal shape, which I possibly like even more than my um, normal crosshair overlay, just because it's really nice for if you want a god bridge or something that requires the more rigid diagonal shape. Let me just kill this guy. Alright, cool. And not all the packs that I'll be showing are strictly Valentine's Day themed. They're just things that have pink and purple themes to them. Generally things that you would associate with Valentine's Day. Alright, so I got 8 M's and 4 diamonds. I think I'm just gonna get Obsidian, Protna Trap, Airshow is a really good map to get obsidian, because it's really hard to get a diamond pick. The gens are just so slow. One thing that I do find a little strange about this pack that I think they could have done better on is the diamond blocks are bright pink, yet the diamonds are kind of default. So I wish that the diamonds would have been pink. Speaking of pink, I think I'm going to head for pink next, just because they already took out... Their first rush, and I think red and blue are fighting. Alright, let me see if I can kill them here. Yeah, this water is making it really difficult, because they have both prot and sharp. Okay, well I can for sure get some iron armor here, and then maybe I'll be able to get sharp too, if there's enough diamonds. Yep, I'll be able to get sharp too. This pink player is being really annoying, because all they're doing is just camping at their base and getting super stacked. So I think if I'm going to take them out, I should probably get some pots or something. But I guess I'll get prop 2 first. Alright, pink is incoming and it does look like red and blue ended up bed trading. So I suppose that's good news. Uh, I kind of just destroyed pink there. I suppose that's a good sign. I will buy some pots and magic milk, and then I should be able to break this bed, no problem. Alright, I think I'm gonna drink jump boost at least, and then I can just hop up here. I'll drink my other pots. Drop down, because they think I'm up there when really I'm just going around. And then... Drink some magic milk. I'm not quite sure what their bed defense looks like. It looks like it's just a bunch of wool. Yeah, I'm gonna need a better, um... Need some TNT or something. Alright, I got the bed. And... Didn't quite hit him off there. There we go. Cool. There goes pink team. I don't know why they decided to defend their bed with 17 layers of wool, but it certainly didn't work out for them. Red and blue just ended up fighting. I don't think I'll be able to clean here because they're just going to be able to run. I do have obsidian though, so I think I'm going to chase rather than void. And that was smart because they just suicided me without a bed. Okay, GG, let's head on to the number two pack. We're here on Glacier in the second game with the number two pack. This is minus 16x by Lushi. This is a recolor, so this isn't actually the original pack. And then the second thing I should note is that the crosshair was actually default. This could be a mistake, I'm not sure. So I ended up just putting my circle crosshair overlay on top of it. This pack definitely has a more realistic sky, but it looks equally as good, if not better, in my opinion. 
I have taken a lot of fall damage there. Um, they just hit me, like, way too many times. Okay, that works. I think there is quite a bit of server lag, but either way, I just got absolutely comboed. Okay, I have a new strategy this time. I'm gonna look to kill this guy. Oh, and he just juked me. Okay, well, at least I can get the bed. That works. He's incoming. As long as I PvP okay, I should be able to kill him. And he just lags so hard. Okay, and they're on zero. That's just unfortunate. There's not a whole lot else to say. Alright, I am on a bit of a win streak, so I'll probably try and sweat a little bit here. Because I do want to try and win this game. I'll get an iron sword, so I should at least be able to kill the blue, because after all, they're still low. Alright, cool. Does look like pink is incoming, and they fell. That's good. Because otherwise I would have to fight them, and I don't really feel confident gear-wise at the moment. It does look like green is mid, but I think I'm still going to head mid too. It looks like they have clean leather, so I should be able to three-tap them with my sharp iron. And this should be eight M's, right? Yes, eight M's. That is just what I needed. And I'll be able to pick up some prot too. Does look like green is coming back for some revenge here. I'm still able to three tap them, though that hasn't changed. I have a pearl, so I think I'm just gonna head over to blue here and try and get some iron armor or something. And then I'll just pearl over to green base when they come mid to try and get me. They do have two layers, and they have been mid all game, so they could have obsidian. I should probably get a diamond pick just to be safe. And they're actually bridging over to me. So I think I'll just use pots instead of my pearl. I think that'll be the smartest way to go. Jump. Speed. They didn't end up falling. Invis. Build up a bit. Alright, I hit him off. They... Do they have obsidian? No, they don't. That's good. Alright, cool. And we'll see what we can do. I do have speed, so I should be able to win this. Alright, cool. And Aqua's coming to clean. I need to get out of here. I think I'm just gonna head over towards their base and then pearl to their base. I think that'll be the smartest bet here. Alright. Alright, I don't think there's a whole lot else to do except for just go in. They totally have fireballs though, so I have to watch out for those. There's one. I'm guessing they have a second. Yep. And is there a third? I don't know. Gap up. And that's a GG. That's a nice clutch with minus 60x. Let's head on to the next one. Alright, we made it into the third game on Gateway. We are using the number one favorite Valentine's pack, which is Diamond Blossom 16x Revamp by Unretired Marb. Everything about this pack is just so good. It has a great sky. All of the leaves on the trees are pink and purple. I really like the oars, the swords, the crosshair. It's just all amazing. So Unretired Marb really outdid himself with this pack. I was a little slow with doing that intro, so pink already bridged across to me. That shouldn't be a problem, though. 
because I did just kill them when they were at my base, and if I can just do that again, then that should be all I need to get this bed. Cool. I'll be able to get the bed, and then I'll see if I can kill them too. I ended up getting them in the fire. I'm not sure if that'll kill them though. Yeah, they burned to death. Alright, cool. Now that that rush is out of the way, I think I'm gonna head over to the diamond gen. Just grab a prot and a trap. And then afterwards, maybe I will head mid and grab some ems. I decided to get some obby just to play it safe. That way, even if the game ends up lasting a little longer, at least I can get a for sure win. Those look like green is getting M's, which really isn't what I want, so I do think I'm gonna kill green here. Alright, cool. So it looks like the rest of the game is kind of on this side of the map, because red is a final, it's chilling over yellow, and then from there I can get to aqua and green. Those look like they're pre-gapping, so this may be a little bit of a sweaty fight. We'll see how this turns out. Alright, cool. And they had eight more M's? That's a lot of M's. I guess I'll get diamond armor and a pearl? I don't really know what else to buy. Alright, green is heading over to me. He thinks he's gonna get me, I'll just pearl to his base. So that's green bed gone. They may end up voiding here because they do have mining fatigue. Nope, I'll still be able to get the bed. Cool. Alright, let's call green here. Perfect. And then I will make my way over to Aqua. I do have Obsidian, so even though they're running to my base, I'm not too concerned about it. Just because I have both a Minor Fatigue Trap and Obsidian. So I should be able to defend my bed pretty much all the time. Alright. I ended up Firewall jumping there just because I was a little bit concerned about them getting to my base quickly. I'll just deposit all this and hop in the void. Okay, it does look like they made it over to my diamond gen. They're gonna see that I have obby here and then turn around, probably. Somehow I survived those three fireballs. Not quite sure how. And they just used a fourth one to fireball jump over me. Now I just have to hope that they don't have a diamond pick. Even if they do, though, I do have a minor fatigue trap, so there's a chance I can still defend my bed here. Alright, cool. That's a GG. Alrighty, that'll do it for today's video. If you did enjoy, make sure to drop a like. If you want to see more content like this in the future, make sure you subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Goodbye!